What is cranking wieners? Welcome back. We're starting today's video in a parking lot, not the most exciting intro, but we're at Home Depot right now, picking up some goods for a project that I've been wanting to do like since I moved to the new crib, the new uh, dream house. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but we need to grab some essentials, some stuff to get to building to create something that I just, I'm really excited about. I hope you guys are too. So meet you guys inside and uh, gotta grab some tools for this here project. So stick with us, stay tuned and let's just have a day. Well, the Home Depot run was very stressful, but it worked out great. We got the lumber and we got some tools. So we're gonna see if we can make this happen. Just loading up the truck. We'll meet you guys back at uh, the Rig Ranch. Well guys, welcome to the barn. A lot has changed to the barn since uh, I moved in. You might be able to tell it's not that clean yet, but that's the mission of the goal for today. Not only to build this wall of tackle or at least start this project, but also just to kind of show you guys what I'm working with, my system, how I set everything up for a post day's worth of fishing. Like when I'm done fishing, I come in here and I mess with gear, I mess with equipment and I try to make this like the perfect place where I can come and organize all my stuff. Cause I got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna back the truck up and we're gonna get twerking on this here uh, mission. Oh, look at the nose! How you doing, puppers? You guys gonna help today? Are you gonna help? They're probably not gonna help. I bet that, you know what they're gonna do is they're gonna come in here and they're gonna poop. They love pooping in the barn, especially the little, little one, especially Mel Mel. So first order of business is to get this, this wall, this great wall of baits set up and built. The goal, goal for this is just to have somewhere I can hang my rods, have like a neat system so that every time I hop off that boat after like a long day's worth of fishing, I can come over here, change out gear, put stuff up, uh, grab stuff, put it in the boat. I want to utilize this barn as much as I can. I just did a pretty half-ass measurement. I'm gonna cut this two by four down a little bit and see if we can set it up into place. I'm just building a frame right now. And then once I build the frame, I'll build some beams in the midsection. I'm gonna try to sound technical and, and sound like I know what I'm doing today, but I definitely don't, so just keep that in mind. Safety first. Now ready. Just a little bit more. What's poppin'? Brand new saw just broke. I'd say that about dozen. Hey guys, what's your favorite clamp? Comment in the comment section down below. Mine, personal favorite, Bessie. I believe this is a 15 inch. Best clamps out there. Money, money, money. I just don't know how janky I really want this to be. I, mean, I could really make it janky. Yeah. That was so close. <laughs> I literally almost came with myself. We're just gonna call that like 117 inches. Cool. Step two. The bottom of the frame, the booty of the frame, if I'm being politically correct. The this is the biggest drill bit I think I've ever used. It's a 3 8 We're just gonna go bigger because if we go smaller, then it's gonna be a little more difficult to adjust. I've never done anything like this before. I've never drilled, drilled through steel. This is different for me, but hopefully this works. I got some lube too. Papa Rackley taught me you gotta go slow with steel and you gotta have lubricant. So we're just gonna take your time. We're gonna drill bolts on the upper part of the frame just so that's in place. Our side piece is just gonna be hanging. We'll figure it out once we get there. We're winging it. That was a lot easier than I thought. I think it's donkey drilling through steel because it's like, if you mess up, then you ruin the steel. But <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't even think we have a bolt that fits this. I got bolts that were too big. I should have looked up up here, but this lip isn't what I'm drilling in. There's actually an indentation. So I might've screwed up. So I, I should have at least one bolt, big bolt guy over here. We got a couple three eighths in here, which should work. Yeah, that doesn't work. I got these 
bolts. They're a little long. We can still snip them down a little bit, but I just want to see if this thing will work to begin with. I don't know if it will, honestly. That's, that's in there. It's in there pretty good. I should probably use a bigger washer because it's just going to go right into the wood, but I mean, you get the gist. It's not supposed to be pretty, you know? The problem is, is like, I love this barn, but there's no like drywall. There's no wall, so I've had to work with just the frame. So it's technically not going to be an actual wall. It's going to be these two by four columns, and I'm going to be able to like kind of build these wall controls that are metal. These are like some of the best ones you can get and have one two by four right there and then another one there. So we'll just have to measure out where the two by fours need to go based upon the wall control that I bought. Instead of building a, a wall made of just plywood, we're just gonna build a wall out of the wall control and then the rod holders too. This has to be specific so that these fit on here. These are nice too. I thought about just getting regular plastic pegboards, but that's, that's weak. Steel, titanium. Zirconium. This is what Mandalorian makes his helmet out of. Same exact stuff, matter of fact. Well, you see, Alex, uh, I bought these really cool wood screws. I'm watching, this is too big. <laughs> Don't stop. No! Damn it! Watch out. This thing's licensed. My daddy says I'm going to be a space rider. Can't almost drop that nut. I don't even think I need the, the nuts and bolts. Like this is just so extra, but we're doing it just because of, well, I'm extra. Hang on, I gotta look this up. Now I'm really close. Is it spacer then washer? Washer then spacer? That looks like that SpongeBob episode where he's like, pickles, lettuce, tomato, bun. <laughs> he doesn't know how to make a Krabby Patty. What's up, danger? Hey, watch out. Okay, we've, Got it looking like a, a frame. We now have to drill through these big beams. I would assume they're hollow, but I could be wrong. This is gonna take some time, definitely. But where there's a well, there's a way. Ah. Looks damn good though. We need to put all the bolts and nuts in and uh, show actually be connected to the frame of the barn. Saucy. Uh. <laughs> I'm a man. Yeah, I am drilling through steel. Hey, just wanted to show you something. I, I, I've got a, a, a something to be proud of right now. We got the Nuts and bolts in. A little L bracket, little L -bracket action. action, yeah. This thing, I want a tornado to hit, and this is gonna be the only thing standing. I'll send you a picture when it's all done, but we're filming a video right now. Let's see how the peeps. What up? <laughs> what up? Crackley's <laughs> wall is way cooler than mine. What the? F <laughs> Got a ways to go, bud. Yeah, yeah. Over here in my garage with absolutely nothing. <laughs> Keep grinding on the wood game. Thanks. See ya. Peace. American dad right there. Okay, let's focus though. Enough FaceTiming. Let's get this bitch built. We are cutting the middle beams. These are what are going to be utilized to hang the pegboards on. This is like kind of the important part really. It's not much of a wall right now, but this will make it a wall. Uh, Whew, first piece is up. It looks really freaking dope. Probably should have gone a little bit farther so it's more centered, but you get the gist. It looks okay. I'm pretty stoked though, this looks awesome. Looks good. It's a little off color, I know. Uh, and there are some pretty distinct panel gaps there, but 
This is where I'm gonna put all my soft plastics, my Guggen baits, my uh, Guggen Squad crank baits, hard baits. Anything that's not open yet, I'm gonna put up here so I can run and gun. If there's a color I need, size, a bandito bug I need, I can just run to the wall, pick it up, go to the Lund, and rip one out. All I'm doing is just simplifying my process. My process and my system sucked, but now it's a lot better. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. The pegboards are complete. We learned a ton uh, what not to do and what to do. It definitely helped to have Alex here to bounce some ideas off of him. Might as well just hang baits on that now. After that, we do the part that I'm excited about, and that is the rod holders. I picked these up off of Amazon. They're kind of expensive, but they're like super highly rated. I think they got like five stars, so I wanted to try them out. And that's where that barren left side's gonna be. Again, we're trying to make this uh, look good. The point is just to have some place to put my tackle for now, but the, the, the real goal, once this is all said and done, is to make it look nice. So we're probably gonna paint a backdrop. It's not gonna look so nasty, but um, yeah, I mean, for now, it works. And that's all that matters. I actually really like these rod holders. We kind of ran into a trouble, bought two of these, but my board isn't big enough, my wall isn't big enough, so we gotta figure out something here. Again, this is a rough draft. We may even do something even better on this side, but lots of bumps down the road, but this is cool. You basically just like slide these in like so, and that way you can move where the position of the rod is. You can put five on here if, you're, if you've got big rods, you can put 10 on here if you're a crappie guy, only have tiny rods, but this is a cool little system, honestly. Who makes that, John? Who makes these? <laughs> I don't know. I just said, boop, add the cart. And it came to my house two days later. And this, my friends, is part one of the barn build. How good does this wall look? It took us a lot of brain energy, which you guys know we don't have a whole lot of. And it took a lot of trial and error, but we did. We got the rods hung up, we got a few baits hung up. I didn't really have any pegs. So what you see here is kind of like a mock-up to give you guys an idea as to what it will look like when it's completely filled out. This is step one of the barn build. This is literally part one. We're gonna do a whole little saga, a whole little series on how we're gonna do this. Again, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a general contractor, so I don't know what I'm doing. So hopefully you guys who are on the same level of uncreativeness uh, can, can also maybe learn some stuff that we also learned today too. Most importantly though, I need you guys to tell me what we need to do furthermore with this uh, this barn build. And again, I, I hate naming everything, but I feel like we do need a name for this barn. Have we even come up with anything yet? Lunker Cave, I thought that was pretty good. Never stop shop i think is going to be the one uh keep vision never stops the motto so never stop shop that's it i don't know who said that we'll find the comment we'll put it right here alex is like i gotta go find the comment <laughs> but yeah we'll put the comment whoever said that um i've never had an environment solely dedicated to just all my fishing junk and i'm really pumped to continue this uh, but like i said give us some ideas drop them you know where to drop them, put them down below. We also have a lot going on over here, but I wanna save that for a different video. Um, the whole focus today was getting the wall built. We have 15 rods total, we've got some googie baits, and there is much, much more to come. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching it all the way through. I love you so much. Stay safe, catch fish, and as always, folks, keep fishing, never stop.